Just about to reveal once and for all whether or not you guys can genuinely make an extra $300 a day just by copying and pasting free pictures on the internet, so let's give it a try. Now, as you might expect, the very first thing we would have to do is finding content that really stands out. We need to find some really spectacular footage that people might be interested in. And there are multiple different ways you can go about it. For instance, we can perform a very simple Google search and take a look at the search results. I just typed in sunset and there you have it. Now, these are some pretty spectacular pictures. However, there is an issue that comes with this. You see, some of these pictures are protected by copyright policy. I'm pretty sure that some of you might already be familiar with this concept. Basically, we are not allowed to reuse them for commercial or advertising purposes. And the truth of the matter is, we had no major contribution. We are simply taking advantage of other people's work, which is just immoral. And it is also illegal. So we want to stay away from that as much as possible. But don't worry about it, we're not going to let this minor issue stop us. And instead, here's a way you can overcome it. What you can do is head over to free-images.com and this is a place where you can genuinely find copyright-free stock footage. Here's how it works. This website is all about free public domain slash CC0 images. In other words, and to put it very simply, if you start using any of the pictures on this website, you're not going to get in trouble. You can even sell them for a profit, you can use them for advertising or commercial purposes, nobody's going to have anything against it, and they're absolutely free to use as well. I'm putting some emphasis on that part because there are some websites out there that will provide you with stock footage that you can use, but they are not free. For instance, iStockPhoto is a good example. If you wanted to connect to this website and use one of the pictures here or one of the videos, you'd have to pay a decent amount of money in order to get it. And for that reason, we're going to be focusing on these free websites, these free alternatives, because I do understand that some of you watching this video may not have the financial resources to invest in such a method. And you want to start from scratch with no investment whatsoever. So I'm going to make that possible for you. Now, in case you don't want to use free-images.com or in case you cannot find any relevant search results, Here's another option you've got. And this one is also free of charge. The website I'm surfing through right now is called pexos.com and it works in a very similar way. All you gotta do is head over to the search tab, type in a keyword that can just be something like sunset. Let's keep it very basic here for the sake of simplicity. And there you go, 72,000 different search results. All of them are copyright free. You can download all of them without paying a single dollar. And some of these actually look spectacular. Like, take a look at this one. But now that we've got that part covered, how are we actually going to monetize these free photos? We're not just going to sell them because nobody would buy them as long as they grab them for free. Well, guys, we need to add our own unique touch. That is the answer. We need to do a little bit more to it. And in order to illustrate the process, I'm going to walk you through the entire method one step at a time. So first and foremost, I'm going to download this one for free. Again, if you want to make a contribution, you can show your appreciation for the photographer through a small donation, but you're not required to. This is not mandatory. It is just an optional thing you can do. However, once that is out of the way, this is where the magic happens. So when it comes to the next step, what you want to do is connect to Canva.com and then click on create the design. And then I'm going to choose edit photo and pick the picture I've just downloaded, right? I hope it all makes perfect sense so far. Now you want to click on edit photo and the world of different opportunities will open up to you. Because using Canva's in-browser editor, you can make any changes you want. For instance, I could head over to the text here, choose to add a heading, and now I can customize this design by adding a really catchy text. Let's go for something motivational. Let's just do a little bit of research. What about the best short motivational quotes? Let's take a look at that. Well, guys, there you have it. Opportunities don't happen. You create them. Love your family, work super hard, live your passion. These are really powerful and we're going to make that final design much more valuable by adding some sort of call to action or a motivational quote that will get people more interested and more engaged. For that reason, you want to take a second to find a quote that you really, really like and you can resonate with. Take a look at this. There are even different categories. Deep motivational quotes, motivational quotes about success, for life, for work, and so on and so forth. And take a look at this one. Now, this is just perfect for the picture we've chosen. If the highest aim of a captain were to preserve his ship, he would keep it in port forever. So let's just copy that one because it matches our design perfectly. Now what you want to do is head back over to your editor in Canva and paste that in. But this one is quite long, so we need to make some changes. I'm going to reduce the font size and then reposition it so that it looks cool. Now in order to make it stand out even further, what you want to do is change the color. Again, you're in full control here. 
and I'm pretty sure that you guys can actually do a far better job than I can. Now, once that is out of the way, you want to make it pop up even further by adding a shadow. So I'm going to click on it and add an effect. There you have it. Let's select shadow and make the shadow black. And I think this is perfect. Again, if the highest aim of a captain were to preserve his ship, he would keep it in a port forever. Now, if you really want to add a little bit more contrast, what you could do is increase the transparency of the background picture even further. So let me do just that. And I think we've got ourselves a winner here. We got a really unique design, we've added our own contribution, our own unique touch, and it actually offers some value. It combines a great visual and a great quote. So how can we make a profit off of it? Well, let me show you how. What I'm gonna do right now is just share the design and download it. And up next, you guys want to connect to Etsy.com. This is a huge marketplace. According to SimilarWeb.com, the website gets a total number of 385 million total visits month after month after month. Now that is quite impressive and when you add to that the fact that most of the traffic is coming from top tier countries such as the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Germany or Australia, this is the perfect place to start selling items and they are even gonna help you out. Now guys, this is actually crazy. What you wanna do up next is head over to their print on demand section. This is a really cool one. They're basically gonna help you create your own design. Not only that, but they will allow you to list it on their website. In case you're not familiar with the printing on demand business model, let me break it down for you. Now guys, let's just say that you are looking to purchase some designer clothing, right? Let's say you really like a t-shirt and you want to purchase it. You've just connected to the website, you have placed an order and you decide to buy this new Nike t-shirt, right? Well, the truth of the matter is Nike being a billion dollar company is not going to design that t-shirt specifically for you. They already have thousands of identical items in a story space, as you can see right here. And once you place that order, what they are going to do is that they will simply grab one of those t-shirts from their story space, from their inventory, and ship it straight over to your door. That is the traditional way of selling t-shirts, or pretty much any other items. But when it comes to printing on demand services, let's just imagine the following scenario. Let's simply say that I'm looking to launch my own merch, right? The Mr. Money t-shirt. This is a limited time design. It is not a real one, just a hypothetical one. But I do not want to take the risk of having an inventory and creating hundreds or thousands of items ahead of time. Because I do not know whether or not those will be sold. And I can be left over with thousands of t-shirts that I have nothing to do with. For that reason, it might be a wise decision to implement the printing on demand model. Here's how that works. I'm just going to create an e-commerce store. Once somebody places an order, once they pay for the design, I'm going to head over to my manufacturer, which can be Etsy.com in this case, and ask them to manufacture this t-shirt. Once that is done, they are simply going to ship that t-shirt straight over to your door if you were the customer. Well, I hope it does. That is pretty much going to eliminate the necessity for a story space and an inventory. And for that reason, it goes way smoother, especially if you're only starting out. You do not have to make an enormous upfront investment and instead you will just create those designs if there is a demand for them. Thus the name. They are only going to be printed if there is a demand. And so we can do something very similar to that with our design right here. Now you can print it onto a t-shirt and that might actually work because this is a pretty cool visual. But instead, I would rather go for a banner or a canvas, right? Some form of wall art. Now, you could head over to Etsy.com in order to get that done, but I personally prefer Teespring or Printful. That is just because these tools are a little bit more straightforward and beginner-friendly to use. Now, if you connect to Teespring.com and you set up a new account, that will allow you to start creating ASAP. All you gotta do is click on that red button, enter in your credentials or log into your account, and that will take you to their in-browser editor. They even provide you with dozens of different mockups that you can use in order to preview the physical item, in order to get an idea of what that item is actually going to look like once it is printed. So let me log into my account and show you how that canvas would look like. And so guys, here's what you need to do. Once you head over to their creator, you can choose a product you would like to design. Now you can just go for the best sellers, as you might expect, these are the very basic ones, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the tank tops, and so on and so forth. But you can even take it one step further. You can create a mug, you can even create stickers. These guys are adding new products every single day as you can spot. We're talking about notebooks, flip-flops, even custom patches or backpacks. Now this is quite crazy. They had diversified quite a lot. They started off with the t-shirts, that's the name Teespring. 
but now they have expanded their reach to all sorts of different items. You can even design an AirPods Pro case and you can print your design on top of that. Just imagine that and you don't have to worry about manufacturing the item. They're gonna cover it. All you gotta do is generate the traffic and generate the sales. So let me show you what I wanna do. I'm going to head over to the home and decor section and then select wall art and then I can pick this canvas print. Now once that is out of the way you want to upload your image and at this point you can play around with the dimensions and make sure that it fits. I'm just going to maximize it so that it looks good and I think this is it. Now of course you can be a little bit more careful with the dimensions so that you actually catch the whole design and it looks better. This was a little bit sloppy, but again, for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna give it a pass. Also, you gotta make sure that the artwork resolution is also optimal, but most significantly, you get to set your own price. Let's just type in $25, for instance. If we sell this item for 25 bucks, that is going to be an $11.25 profit per sale. In other words, this spring is going to take about $14 in order to manufacture the item and we get to keep the profit just like that. It will cost us $14 to manufacture the canvas because as you might expect, that is quite a convoluted process and it requires some materials and some expertise and we need to pay for that however we can still keep a solid profit and that is a win for me and guys at this point all you gotta do is just give it a try you've got all the resources you need to make it work and you can even take a look at what your competitors here are doing you can take a look at the best seller designs and try to model those that's it for now and thanks for watching